but I can't see them losing this game. The atmosphere is electric, and that's going to play to their advantage here. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's check out who's on the floor, courtesy of Gatorade. So for Chicago right now, Rose is the one with Butler as the two. Portis is out there with Paul Gasol. And it's Chandler in at the small forward position. P passes to Smith. Takes a three. And count it. Three-pointer good on the shot from P. P's got his second bucket of the night. And, and how about that? Responding to the three-pointer against them with a quick one of their own. Terrific little tay to tay going on right now. Back and forth. Here we go. We play just over a minute here in the first. Okafor kicks to Smith. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. Six to shoot. Here's P. Another three for Philadelphia. And so here is Chicago. It's a five-point game. Inside, here's Butler. A beautiful reverse layup. Butler's got five. Now there's something for the top 10 highlight reel right there. A layup can be just as sweet and as pretty as a dunk sometimes. It's rebounded by Portis. Terrific job that time defending at the rim. I mean, it's not an easy task stopping that fella when he's headed to the bucket like that. Good job. Here's Portis. Double team on Rose. And the foul called on Freak. That is his first foul of the game. Here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by. Here's Chandler. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Philadelphia with the ball. Earlier, Doris Burke spoke with head coach Fred Hoiberg. What would you find out, DB? We talked about the importance of stealing a game on the road, and coach said they want to come out. set the tone early in this game. He said, quote, if we can come out and take this first game, all of a sudden we're in control of the series. Thanks, Doris. Oh, and a fast break for the Bulls. And count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the free throw line. You know, you're going to have success when you can start out shooting 80% from the game. So early offensively, they've been great. That's the way you like to start. Bulls shooting their first foul shot of the night. That free throw good from Butler. Talk about some great numbers for Butler. He already has eight points, and he's chalked up one three-pointer on the day as well. And Clark, I'm sure that won't be the last one. A lot of times, he can get hot and stay hot from beyond. There's a chance he could have a big game if they don't D him up more tightly on the perimeter. Double team on Rose. Pass to Portis. The shot by Chandler, wide open. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Philadelphia's gone three of three from deep. Nine points rung up from outside here in the first. Here's P, and he gets it to go. P's got ten points in the game. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way to the inside. Here's Butler and Okafor with the block. Here's Covington. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. Old school D right there. Just telling them no easy layups. It's as simple as that. And that's what you expect from them. The 76ers shooting their first free throws of the game. Covington. Two shots. No good on that one. And he sinks the second. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Rose dishes to Butler. Good looking screen by Gasol. And Okafor with the block.
And it's the Bulls with the ball. They trail by six. Rose double teamed. The shot by Butler. Nobody around. Another field goal for him. Four for six shooting tonight. And really the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts. Doing all he can to bring him back. And that one's good. Well, he's in a groove right now. The touch is flowing. Six of six from the field. And it looks like he's having one of those games, guys. He's starting to feel. Now, here's Rose. Quiet so far offensively. He's searching for his first points of the game. And the pass to Ports. Down to five on the shot clock. Second chance effort. Here's Butler. And it's going to be two free throws. True contact on the shot. Way to attack there and then create the contact. Really as close as you can get to an and one right there. He almost had it. And so Butler nails both of them. Philadelphia leading by four. Smith kicks to Okafor. P defended by Butler. Here's P. Power down with both hands. And folks, he does more than just put two points onto their lead. He does it with a little bit of flair. Uh, he sure does. You're right. It's a dazzling move to the bucket for him. I'll tell you what, he may not be the biggest man in the league, guys, but he more than makes up for that lack of size with amazing aerial skills. Here is Rose after the Sixers pick up two. Gasol with another miss. Well, I think the defense got lucky right there. I mean, he's going to make a lot more of those than he misses when he's got that much room. And here's Covington from the arc. Chicago grabs the miss. Rose with the ball. Now Okafor defending. Good looking screen by Gasol. And the foul called on three. That's foul number two for him. That's it. And Philadelphia has possession. It's a three-point game. On the court right now, second quarter for the Bulls. Rose the is the one with Stick Butler as the two. Miritich out there with Doug McDermott. And the Bulls, uh, you know, shooting it really well. 54% from the floor. Rose passes to McDermott. And the wing jumper offline. Well, there was no hand in his face right there. I thought for sure he was going to knock that down. Here's P. And he hits it to tie the game up. P's got the first basket of the second quarter for the 76ers. This is why I love his game. You really have to admire his tenacity. And slam dunk by Butler. Went for the two-hander on that slam. That's where the weight room comes into play, Kevin. <laughs> I think some urgency <laughs> from him there. Hey, I think he's sensing that this is a critical time in the game, fellas. So it's Philadelphia now. Another three for Philadelphia. Six changes of the lead here. Yeah, no team able to build a big lead early on. I mean, it's tight. Yeah, both teams still kind of feeling their way through this game. A rebound by P. P's got his fourth rebound in this one. Philadelphia's gone. Five of eight from three-point land. 15 points and a deep ball for them tonight. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. When you're hot, you're hot. And that's certainly been the case for P. He's got 19 points, and he's got nine points from behind the arc. And that's been an important part of his game today. It's really spaced the floor. Steady work at the free throw line. Just what we're used to seeing out of him. Clark, they've been looking out of sync offensively. You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. Oh! oh! Well, that's why they're on the lead. Aggressive play at both ends. 
Very nicely done there. Absolutely. They make the steal, pay dividends instantly on the fast break. Rose kicks to Meritage. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. Rose has got four assists now tonight. And when you've got a big man who can shoot from distance like that, what a huge advantage. P defended by Butler. Move the ball. Stick it too much. Here's P. Pass to Noel. It's all in by the Bulls. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Heritage dishes to Rose. All sorts of time. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. He's got five rebounds tonight. Flanketed by the D. He fights to the rim for the layup. P's got 25 points in the game. Bulls trail by four. They can't guard us on the perimeter. Let's spread the floor and isolate up top. Spacing, fellas. Spacing. Doris Burke has some information for us, Doris. Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard Philadelphia's coach as he addressed his team. He's looking for some old-fashioned offense right now. He wants the pick and roll to be the centerpiece of their game plan at that end of the floor. He said also that their offense needs to be a patient one. He told them, don't rush things. Use as much of that shot clock as you need to. Well, coach not wasting any time in tweaking the game plan. We'll see they can't guard us on the perimeter. Let's spread the floor and isolate up top. Spacing, fellas. Spacing. with the list of the best shooters during the postseason. Fifth on the list, Freak. The 76ers have gotten four of the first five shots to fall in the second quarter. Outstanding shooting. From deep. Can't get it to go. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Now here's Rhodes. Not a lot of room. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will take it. Chicago. Chicago has gone three of five from beyond the arc so far tonight. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played, and it's Butler missing. The 76ers lead. He makes no mistake on the slam dunk. And, and really, he epitomizes what a point guard should be. I mean, his skills as a passer might actually be matched by that creativity he shows around the rim. Well, judging by that jam, Greg, I'd say you're absolutely right. Boy, that's a nice surge for them just when they needed it in a game that was so tight. Feeds it to Noel. From the strike, again, Philadelphia. Just couldn't get a hand in the face on that one. That's using what you got. He's got a height advantage, put it to good use there, and got himself a clean look. Kicks it to Miritic, 16 feet away. It's good, this time the assist from Rhodes. 11 points for Nikola Miritic. The 76ers leading by four. Launches it, 